Tesla has started delivering its Model Y crossover vehicle in Europe, a little sooner than investors might have expected. It was a long wait for customers, and interestingly the first deliveries were achieved through a change in strategy for Tesla. While Tesla's Giga Shanghai has reached a production capacity of 1,000 Model Y vehicles per day last week, a video shared by the company that shows an entire production process mostly related to its Model Y. The company has filed for a 397-mile capable Model Y Super Long Range variant, which would make it one of the company's longest-range vehicles in its entire lineup. The main question is whether the made-in-China Tesla Model Y standard range RWD will be exported to Europe and other countries just like the Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus. Before we start however make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, subscribe to Technopool, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Tesla has officially started Model Y deliveries in Europe. It was a long wait for Tesla customers, and the first deliveries were achieved through a change in strategy for Tesla. Tesla first presented the Model Y in March of 2020 and delivered the first units of the electric SUV in the US almost exactly a year later. Like any new introduction from Tesla, European buyers generally have to wait until the Fremont Gigafactory starts producing batches of European versions of the new cars and ships them to the old continent. However, Tesla declared a change in strategy to introduce Model Y in Europe and China. The automaker said it would only start deliveries in those markets after achieving the new local production at Gigafactory Shanghai and Gigafactory Berlin. This was achieved in a record time in China, and Tesla started Model Y deliveries in the market earlier this year. It has been a different story in Europe. Tesla has fallen into some challenges in starting production at Gigafactory Berlin, and the timeline has changed from July 2021 to October 2021. But instead of waiting to start deliveries of the new Model Y, Tesla has decided to export Model Ys produced at Gigafactory Shanghai to European markets. Recent reports said that Tesla exported over 8,000 Model Ys from China last month, with most of them expected to come to Europe. They were spotted for the first time two weeks ago. Now we can confirm that Tesla has officially started Model Y deliveries in Europe. The development was confirmed by Can Dogan, the senior Tesla advisor who posted a picture on his LinkedIn page of the first European Model Y delivery. The new Model Y has also been spotted in several other European markets, like Norway, Netherlands, and Italy, where deliveries are also expected to start soon. The Tesla Model Y might quickly become the best-selling Tesla in Europe. And since the Tesla Model 3 is the top EV in Europe so far this year, the Model Y has a chance to come out on top overall as well. The production rate of Giga Shanghai finally reaches an interesting milestone. It was recently revealed that Tesla's daily production of the Model Y has hit 1,000 units daily at the Shanghai plant, overtaking the Model 3. After four days of overhaul at Tesla's Shanghai plant last week, the production capacity of Phase 2 Model Y has reached 1,000 units per day. This daily capacity has surpassed the number of Model 3s at 800 units per day. In this case, we can say that the Y-type production has entered the high-yield stage. As previously planned by Tesla, the main production of Q3 is for export, Giga Shanghai drone operator Wu Hua said. At the same time, Tesla shared on its official China Weibo channel a new video that shows an entire production process at the Tesla Giga Shanghai factory. It's mostly related to the Tesla Model Y, although a lot of processes might be the same also for the Model 3. While all of the processes are so interesting, we saw rare shots from the battery pack assembly line which shows LG Energy Solutions 2170 cylindrical cells, NCM811 or NCMA chemistry. The other type used in the cars is CATL's lithium-ion phosphate batteries in a prismatic form factor, but we didn't see photos of this one yet. Besides batteries, it's interesting to see also the production of electric motors. Some people might say that Tesla's plant is highly automated just like any other modern automotive factory, However there is a lot of vertical integration and unique approaches like mega casting and battery packs. Elon Musk said that ultimately the company's competitive power will be the manufacturing, which inevitably must be related to automation, streamlining, vertical integration, and new solutions. Those are the things worth tracking. As we mentioned earlier, Tesla produces about 1,000 mic Model Y per day. That includes three versions, long-range AWD, performance AWD and standard range RWD. In fact, Tesla has started customer deliveries of the Model Y standard range RWD version in China on August 26, and it quickly attracted a high number of customers. 
That is the entry-level version of the car, thanks to the use of CATL's lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which happens to be more affordable, starting at 276,000 Chinese yuan equivalent to $42,523 after subsidies. The automaker has shared several images from the delivery event in Beijing, where clients also had an opportunity to learn about the car's characteristics. Besides the standard range, there are also the long-range versions of the car, equipped with LG Chem's LG Energy Solution batteries with prices starting from $53,600. Lastly, the popular Model Y performance with a price tag of $58,222. Tesla files for a near 400-mile Model Y in China. Publication based in Australia, The Driven, published a report stating that one of those versions will feature a super long range of 640 kilometers 398 miles of range on a single charge. Other publications rotated the news into stating that Tesla is about to release a 400 mile Model Y that's misleading because that 640 kilometers figure is based on the NEDC driving cycle used in the Chinese market. It is particularly not representative of real world range in most normal driving conditions. In Europe, Tesla uses the WLTP standard and lists the range of the Model Y dual motor long range at 505 km 314 miles on a single charge. As for the EPA driving cycle used in the US, it enables Tesla to advertise a range of 326 miles 525 km for the Model Y dual motor long range. In China, Tesla currently lists its longest range version of the Model Y long range AWD as having a range of 594 kilometers 369 miles based on the NEDC standard. In our opinion, it should get between 525 and 535 kilometers 325 to 332 miles of real-world range or about the same as the EPA range in the US for the current version of the Model Y, so you can ignore the reports claiming that the new Model Y will get 400 miles of range. That's only reserved for the Model S for now. Finally, if you have decided to buy this car, here are 5 things we like about the 2021 Model Y and 4 things that could use improvement. You will have good times behind the wheel. Thanks to DNA shared with the Model 3 sedan, the Model Y suspension is aggressively tuned for sporty driving. The result is a strongly un SUV like feel from behind the wheel. Some might find the ride overly stiff as a result, but the Model Y offers a sports car like feel with quick steering response and taut reflexes. The electric powertrain provides instant throttle response and quick acceleration, with a 0 to 60 mph acceleration time of just 4.8 seconds. The range is not lacking. With an EPA rated range of 326 miles, the Model Y can travel far enough between charges to make range concern a non issue. To make things even better, the trip monitor feature works with the onboard navigation system to tell you how much energy will be needed to reach any destination entered in the system. The navigation system can also guide you to charging locations along the route. At home, the Model Y can charge at 21 miles of range per hour using a 24 amp circuit found in most homes equipped with a clothing dryer, but is capable of charging much faster at home with the appropriate setup. Great towing capacity, beyond its appeal as an extremely capable electric vehicle, the Model Y is ready and able to perform the duties of any family SUV. With a towing capacity of up to 3,500 pounds, Tesla can pull at least as much as many conventional small SUVs and more than competing electric models. An optional tow package includes a tow bar with a 2-inch hitch receiver, along with the necessary wiring and a tow mode. It has enough space. With three separate storage areas, the 5-seat Model Y offers buckets of room for stowing cargo. There's the generously sized main rear cargo area accessed by the rear lift gate, which can be further enlarged by lowering the folding rear seatbacks. A concealed compartment under the cargo floor provides additional secure storage. You also get a front trunk that measures 2.9 cubic feet, which is where the engine would reside in a conventional SUV. It all adds up to a more than ample storage area, especially for the size of the Model Y. A relatively affordable price, a price of $54,290 with options including 20-inch wheels. While not inexpensive, that's competitive with many other gasoline-powered luxury small SUVs. Tesla has sold too many cars to still be eligible for the volume-limited federal tax credit of $7,500, so don't expect any help from the feds. Obviously, there will be things that need to be improved like any other car. The visibility is very poor. 
The sloping roof combined with small rear and rear side windows make it challenging to see out of the Model Y when backing up, although the rear camera system on the large center display helps. The camera can be left on even while driving forward, so that's a plus. The Model Y also has rear-facing side cameras mounted on either side, but we'd like it better if the display was located in a more convenient spot, like how some brands put that image in an instrument panel. The instrument panel is missing. Looking straight ahead from the driver's seat, there are no instruments in the traditional sense. The speedometer is relegated to the far upper corner of the centrally mounted 15-inch touchscreen that is used to access pretty much all the Model Y's controls. While a location in the middle of the dashboard makes sense for things like climate and audio functions, it doesn't make sense for driver-specific controls and information. The interior finishes are disappointing. The Tesla's interior is nice enough, with open poor wood surfaces, aluminum trim and well-appointed comfortable seats. But it is hard to call it luxurious, especially by the standards of some competitors. The good news is there's ample legroom and headroom for six-footers up front, and adequate rear seat room. Missing tech features. In an age when even budget-priced subcompacts offer standard Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, the lack of this compatibility as an option on a car in this price range is a head-scratcher. It's even more surprising given how tech-heavy Teslas are. There isn't even the option to use Siri voice to make hands-free calls, something offered in some cars that lack in car assistant systems. On the flip side, the useful efficiency predictions and charge location features are tied into the navigation system, so they wouldn't work with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto anyway. Another odd omission is the lack of a traditional blind spot monitoring system, with warning lights mounted on or near the side mirrors in the driver's line of sight. Tesla chooses instead to provide a warning in the central 15-inch display. We hope you enjoyed this video, if you have any comments leave them in the section below, and please don't forget to like and subscribe and be sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. There are many more future-focused tech videos coming in the near future, so until then stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next video.